Hey everyone, welcome to the 4-H at Home Gardening Series. I'm taking over today's video and we're going to talk all about wildlife in the garden. Wildlife and gardening go together like s'mores in a campfire, mac and cheese, or hot chocolate and marshmallows. Without plants, wildlife would not exist. Without wildlife, plants would not exist. They work together and continue the circle of life. For example, look at this old produce. Many people might see this as trash, but this is actually a superfood for some important critters, like these earthworms. Earthworms are so important for gardening because they decompose organic material and break it down into the best soil you can get, usually called black gold. The castings, or worm poop, contains more essential nutrients like nitrogen, calcium, magnesium, phosphorus, and potassium than the original soil itself. Meaning, earthworms can give your plant the most nutrients it needs to be strong and healthy. But the plants that you grow properly give life to so many other animals, like pollinators. Bees, bats, butterflies, hummingbirds, and even lizards are considered pollinators and drink the nectar from plants for survival. When they go drink the nectar, they grab pollen from the male anther, then go to a female stigma, and then the plant can produce seeds and reproduce for generations to come. So all those fruits, veggies, the clothes we wear, the beautiful landscapes we have, and much more are due to wildlife and plant relationships. To paint a better picture of how pollination works, check out this candy. It is sugary and sweet and gives us energy, right? This will be the nectar. Next, we have this cheese puff container, and all these little puffs are going to represent the pollen. So now, check out what happens when I try to get the nectar or the candy. My hands get covered in pollen. So when I go to another flower to try and get the nectar, I spread the pollen around like this. And that's roughly how pollination works. Moving on. Remember, plants need certain things to live. Here's that amazing plants need image once again. Now, think about what wildlife needs to live. They need things like food, water, air, shelter, and space. Those needs sound a lot like your needs, right? Just add clothes to our needs and we are all set. Again, without plants, we would not have clothes, no food, no shelter, no good air, and no clean water. So we all have to work together. Humans, wildlife, plants, and everything else must work in a nice balance. Now it's time for this really cool activity, making a bird feeder. So everyone uses toilet paper, I hope. Well, when we run out of toilet paper, where do you put the rolls? In the trash? Recycle bin? Today, we are going to reuse and repurpose this toilet paper roll. The supplies you're going to need for this activity include, of course, empty toilet paper rolls, bird seed of your choice, peanut butter, and if you don't have peanut butter, you can use glue instead, yarn, a knife, and a reusable plate. Alright, so first, you're going to take your roll and start covering it in peanut butter. The whole thing. And again, if you don't have peanut butter, you can use glue instead. Then, pour your seeds onto a reusable plate. And roll the peanut butter covered roll all over the seeds. Cover it up really well and BAM! You have a bird feeder. Just add a hole or tie a piece of string around the roll and hang it up in a tree patio, window, or porch. It's a really simple activity, but it's very good for our wildlife and therefore good for our plants. And feel free to get creative if you would like. So the toilet paper bird feeder activity has a larger purpose other than just being fun and great for birds. So you reuse the roll, that's great. You also fed the birds that are either gonna pollinate your plants or the bird that is gonna disperse the seeds from the plant. Through their poop, of course. I mean, how do you think this cactus grew all the way up in this tree? I think it was from a bird. Once your feeder is all worn out, don't think it's trash. It still has a purpose. 
Remember our earthworm friends? Well, not only do they love old produce, they also love cardboard. And if you use glue instead of peanut butter, they love glue too. So your everyday toilet paper has a bigger purpose than just getting thrown away or recycled. You are influencing the circle of life through a simple toilet paper roll. Pretty cool, right? Basically, y'all, our actions influence so much in our environment. It is up to us to help our plants and our wildlife. So let's learn how to appreciate nature. If you see a bee, let them work so that way we can continue to have food on our plate or clothes on our back. If you see trash heading for a water source, pick it up and keep plants and animals from getting hurt. We live in a beautiful world and I want everyone to enjoy it for generations to come. We hope you enjoyed today's video. Remember, send us pictures of your bird feeder. Details will be in the description below. Also, if you're interested in wildlife, check out our Wildlife Wonders of Texas Nature series. Those videos will also be linked below. Remember, Earth Day is every day. Happy gardening, y'all.